uh, so it all starts with the app here. Uh, the combine operator downloads it from the app store. We connect to our computers over here over Wi-Fi, so you just connect to a Wi-Fi network, uh, and then you're good to go. Uh, so everything starts with the boundary. We can get those a couple different ways. One, through op center integration. So all of our customers this year are John Deere radar tractor owners. So okay. that's gonna be the most popular method, or we can import shape files or things like that. What the boundary gives us is the area where the cart can operate autonomously. Once you start and select a boundary, a field, uh, the field starts all green. As we start to harvest it, we're un erasing that green section and that, that uh, uh, opens up the area for where the cart can operate. So we, have, we want to make sure that we're only sending the cart and the path planners aware of where we've harvested and where we've not. Uh, especially shorter crops, uh, we don't want those to look like not obstacles and it take off across the field of beans, gotcha. for example. Um, and so I have it in autonomous mode already. I've, I've initiated the tractor. So I'm able to do these three different tasks. So I'll start with the stage task and we're going to send it to the other end of the field here. So if I initiate that, that's going to let me drop a point anywhere within that boundary and outside of the green space. And why are you dropping a point? Uh, so that's where I want the cart to go wait for me. So okay. let's pretend I'm going to unload or harvest on the way down to the field. And okay. then when I get to the other end... Our, our cart's taking off on us. When I get to the other end, I'm going to turn around and unload on it on the way back. Okay. And there's nobody in that cart just i should maybe taking a picture of that cab but it's first. empty and who's controlling the speed of that is it just one speed yep. I'm glad you asked uh so actually the speeds here are set on the app so with each of those three different tasks we had we can set the different uh speeds for those tasks so staging the cart's generally empty you might want it faster Unload approach, depending on your harvester speed, you may want to bump that up or back, and then send a truck. So when your cart is full, you may want to slow it down uh, for when you send it to the truck. So if I don't harvest through a power pole or something in my field or your pivot point or anything else that may be in your field, that gets marked out by that, that green area stays there. So my path planner knows to go around, say your, gotcha. your pivot point or a power pole. And I hope I didn't get that too close to the edge of my boundary here, but uh, we'll see. So how big is your edge of your boundary that you can't cross? Uh, like 100 so feet or something? So we have a 10 meter turning radius set and that works well with most big carts. And then so if, if we can't make that turning radius, then uh, I got it too close to the edge and I'll have to move it. Um, so normally it would be at the edge of your field and yeah. it's pretty easy to tell kind of where it's at with this demo environment here. Just still getting used to where I actually set that boundary. As I go back the other way here, I'm going to initiate the ready to fill task. And so then it's going to draw a line, hopefully, to where my uh, where my auger is. So that's kind of the first part of the operation. Now, you can tell we've moved on from where that point is. Yeah, and our cart's following us already? Uh, yep, it's it's coming up. Well, let's see if I can. So now it's picking up on the breadcrumbs path. So if you imagine my auger dropping points, yeah. uh, that cart knows how to, how to approach me. And it's approaching at 10 miles an hour right now? Uh, no, I actually have it knocked back a little bit for the, for the demo speed here. Okay, here we go. So it's going to pull up underneath. It's going to match my speed, match my direction, which I realize I'm not doing a very good job driving. Uh, but it doesn't matter. And so as we get along, as it gets alongside us here, it's going to switch to this alignment view on my iPad. And so then I have the ability to nudge the actual target where my auger is unloading in that cart. Okay. So instead of swinging my auger in and out or trying okay. to yell at the driver in the grain cart to speed up, slow down, um, generally they're not paying attention. You can just nudge this a little bit as your cart gets full. Um, yeah, so he just nudges it forward. You yep. can see where the alignment is here. You want to slow it up a little bit? Sure. Oh, yeah. yep. Nicely done. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it's it's turning in here as well because we turned away from it. So it's that did a, probably a better job than uh, yeah, mo most grain current operators. Backed up there a little bit too, even so. Um, it's it's going to wait and then it decides that I'm, I'm done and then it, I can send it to the truck or I can uh, stage it again or I can call it to unload depending on whatever kind of harvest pattern I want to accomplish. Excellent. 
set in truck zone, which is just a, a staging point, so you can do that here. So if I set a truck zone, I gotta define how I want the cart to enter that truck zone. Uh, we have a default size that works for most semis. And say, well, I'm using this kind of entrance here, I want it to approach there. Somewhere in there, it doesn't matter too much. Um, and then if I were to send it to truck, it would draw a path and end up right at that truck zone. So I assume there's all sorts of safety stuff on it, uh, collision avoidance. Yep. Um, so there's a suite of sensors, uh, two LIDARs and a radar. Uh, the LIDARs scan the ground for protrusions, so poles, um, people, fences, pivot Pick points, trucks, yeah. overhanging obstacles. Yep. And then uh, our radar uh, it does that in parallel as well, so we have redundant checks that way. And radars are good at seeing through dust, for example, so it'll see uh, all, this, all the same things, but through a dust cloud as well. Okay. Um, yeah, really focused on making it simple, easy to use. Uh, these two these two operations are one click. Uh, press it once and you saw the car pull up alongside me. I press send the truck once and it ends up in the truck zone. So really trying to keep it simple for the uh, combine operator. Excellent. Appreciate the demo. Yeah. Yeah. Good and uh, I'm sure you guys all noticed it's a Hallmaster grain cart. If right. you're going to do something cool, you may as well do it with the best. That's right. Cheers, everybody.